Welcome back to the channel everyone. We're here with Dave from Mad for Heli. Today is build series number four of the TV70. Today we have gear train. Let's crack into this. Main gear. Main drive. And the pulley. Just taking a quick look at this. We've got plastic top and bottom. I'm not sure if I'm a fan. I've seen some people breaking these off. Breaking these off. Don't try and wind your belt on with a plastic insert. You'll end up cracking it, ripping your belt. Just make sure you loosen it right up. Got a helical gear in there. Nicely machined. One way, I do like that big solid bearing. Look at that. Just have a look at that bearing. Bigger bearings just means the outer race rotates slower, so it's not spinning at 100,000 mile an hour. All right, let's get it pulled apart. Wow, a line, wow, okay. Let's have a look here. Yeah. Looks like it screws on. I don't think I've got spanners that big. Not sure why they've done this. So, it's nice, you've got bearing race one-way needles bearing great for holding grease yeah I, I get that but machined edge like that it is a very sharp edge it needs to be sharp because the, the gap between the bearing and the needle is uh is only a small gap but when you try and slide stuff on like this i suppose it's that edge there it's it's very difficult to get in the tolerance is very is very nice i will give you that alone well done with the tolerances. So normally you give these a bit of a spin to help push them in. Just doesn't want to go in there. Anyway, while I'm here, <coughs> we'll put a bit of put some extra lube in there. Put some in the gaps here. Yeah. Extra should last a long time. Should really last a long time. spins it should always just continue to lock on. I don't really need to lock that on. There we go, just need a little bit of force. And we'll just push all that lube back into that groove. And Oh, it's for a 
moment. So we need to glue this down, two bearings. Nice and firm. And these ones need to be firm because there's a potential for all your vibrations to pass through the head. So the main head block this takes all the vibrations of anything misaligned on the head, whether it be balancing, whether it be your, your pitch, your, uh, and to do with blades, head, all that up there. And, you know, when you're in flight, main shaft, you know, all the stresses on this right here. So nice and firm. Got servo mounts here. Okay. You know, again, the machining on this is incredible. It's actually really, really nice. I can't, can't fault the machining. They've done a stellar job. Nice one, Alan. All right. What's next? And this is not a line spot. This is just the tolerance, the machining tolerance I go in there because it's so. So close, you just really got to get it right. So, it just takes one. A chamfer on there, Alon. There we go. Perfect. Now, what's a space from there, though? I don't know where that space is coming from. Unless they're talking about main shaft spacer. It is rubbing in there. It's meant to be a washer. All right, <clears throat> we'll put this together. I'm missing a washer. I'll get one made up for now. Uh, but uh, so we can continue this build, we'll put it together and I'll I'll slap it in there off camera. All right. Slides in there very nicely. Just like that. And we have. are on, doesn't matter where they go, we can fix them a lot later, as long as they're over the shaft there, just like that. Like I said, 
said, I'll lock tight these in later. So just notice something, so obviously I've got to take this back off to, uh, to put that spacer in there. It's a way of replacing belts. Um, later in this series we're going to replace to a big belt set. Um, but when we were putting this frame together, these steel inserts that were on the frame, I was wondering what they were for, but when you look at it, it allows you to take this bottom bearing block out past the past the, the battery slide, allows you just to pop that out and the whole drivetrain comes out. That's a pretty cool idea right there. So, because all your servos and everything mounts to the top here, you would have to kind of remove, why remove the whole head when all you gotta do is pull the gearbox out. Just, it's like a car, pull it out from underneath. That's, that's pretty good. I like it. Good idea, Alon. Good idea. So, we'll lock tight these screws on. Now, I've had a look through the manual, and main shaft. So, you didn't see me put the rest of the, the frame together, my trusty old camera, I should say my phone was full, had to get some stuff off it, but when you flick through the pages, you know, if you've put a line together before, or most, most models, you, you want to make sure the main shaft slides up and down, or is, slides up and down, or is, you know, kind of loose-ish. It's kind of at the back of the book here, I don't know what they're trying to achieve here, it's for the experienced builder you kind of know what you got to do but for the novice to get to the back of the book and then be like oh I've got to loosen everything off means breaking Loctite which you kind of don't really want to do not in a new model once you put it together that's kind of want it to stay together so we'll get our main shaft out here and we'll see what we're looking at again the main shaft is it's already attached to the head, so it's sort of kind of been nice to have been done before. If it doesn't slide through, we'll just see how tight it is. We'll have to maybe loosen some stuff up. It really just comes out of bearing wear. It's not a huge drama. Like I said, it, it is a toy. Main shaft, main shaft, main shaft. Let's have a look. Just want to sit it on there. Get your belt out of the way. It's kind of hard, there's a little bit of slop there, but I got no issues with that whatsoever. I'm tightening it up. drivetrain in that's basically the drivetrain your main gear goes in obviously when your head goes in and this gets all connected when your motor goes in so that concludes part four of the tb70 build drivetrain now thanks for stopping by we'll uh, catch you around for the next one we'll build number five we're going to go through servo installation so the start of the electronics um, which is going to be fun fun part so don't forget to hit that subscribe button ring the bell if you want to be notified when uh, the next one comes out and thanks for stopping by on mad for Howie. see you later